M. Shadow's voice right here. I don't think he gets enough credit for being such a unique vocalist. I honestly don't. Today, we're starting off with Game Over, which is off of Avenged Sevenfold's latest album, Life is But a Dream. We're going to be checking out a new song every single day off the album, reviewing it. So make sure you hit subscribe and the bell for notifications because I'm releasing a video every single day. And if you had the means to do so, check out our Patreon if you want to support us further. If you want a free way to support us, check out our original music. It's up on Spotify and anywhere you listen to music. Let's go ahead and check this song out. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love this string pad sound that we got going on. Now, I know a lot of you mentioned he does some of these piano-like or sound pad kind of like things with his guitar, which is totally possible. I have an even tied pedal that does that. It turns my guitar into string instruments. It turns it into piano instruments and things like that. So I definitely see that happening. So I'm sorry I made that mistake on some of the other reactions, but this is really cool because it's showing his dynamic and his playing with the acoustic guitar. Now it sounds like a classical guitar to me with nylon strings or it's the acoustic guitar with nylon strings, one or the other, but something that's worthy to point out is how he's plucking them. He's not just doing a... No, he's adding emphasis in the pluck where he's going... He's really plucking and digging in at it to give it this like stagnant staccato type of feel. And you hear that right here and it sounds really good. And then you have the lead coming in with that more, that more stick. He's really slapping on those strings and is creating that really cool percussion sound that you're hearing with the two guitars. It's a great intro to an album. this heavy i don't know what i was thinking i was thinking it's gonna like kind of go a little bit more slower now there's a lot of layers on m shadow's voice right here i love that because you have this little layer of slight distortion on another track and it starts multiplying but then he uses his other tone of voice right here that's coming in and then you have harmonies right there so it sounds about like four vocal tracks right there that is really cool i don't think he gets enough credit for being such a unique vocalist i honestly don't because who else sounds like m shadows seriously can you think of somebody that sounds similar to him if you can let me know in the comments i can't think of anybody i love that he's getting high He's going higher and higher. Really cool, because they put that the higher track a little bit lower in the mix, so it's really subtle. But he has one vocal track where he's going much higher. amazing let's listen to those drums the drums are just ripping it if i was there live i'm in the mosh pit Woo, i'm in the mosh pit i'm going nuts hear those drums he's just going off 
And you can hear it with the solo lead right here. He does this intricate like pattern like right in the middle of the solo and the lead does like some kind of bend thing with it. in the bend the hand rounds right afterwards really cool oh that is awesome I didn't even realize he was doing that we get this like bend into that next transition where M Shadow starts singing right here and it kind of forms a chord Oh, I love how that holds out right there. Oh my God, before we get to this part, we got to mention something about the drums and what the drummer's doing. This is so smart. He is playing at this ultimate fast speed, but he makes you feel the slowdown by hitting a tom in perfect increments throughout the lead. He's switching over to like a tom, tom, and then there's a bigger gap, and then tom, and you can feel the slowdown in the drums before entering into this part. For example, here it is right here by itself. See how there's an emphasis on one of the toms just coming in and then another one. So it gives you this idea that it's like slowing down at that point. Now you're getting more toms in a row. So start off with one, he had a, e a big amount of space. Start off with another one, he had a, a smaller amount of space and it just gets smaller, smaller leading up to this next little soft section. Now they're coming in quicker. And then he goes all out with the toms, and then we get this final slowdown. What a brilliant fucking transition right there. That is so cool. It started so far back, that was just brilliant. Me. It strikes me that I don't belong here. Oh, the vocals. As I observe my own reflection, try a happy face, staring through the warm tears. Oh, yes, years. big piano sound. I never had the will. I love how subtle that is. Anyway, it's so cool. Oh. oh my God, that scream right there. Just, oh, you can feel the angst in it. That, oh, it's so raw right there. That's so cool. I think it's like almost like an inhale scream. Love that transition too. Man, this is awesome. Just the way they're going from section to section. It's progressive, but it almost doesn't feel progressive. You just feel you're on an adventure. You're on a journey. Let me know in the comments how you would explain this song. And here I swim. My family tree Say good night Ooh
Wow. Can't you see? Life is but a dream. Anyway. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. That, what a great fucking opener to this album. Such a good opener. Guys, if you're interested in the stems to these songs, join our Discord server. I post all the stems over in there. And also have a conversation with us. We talk about music or whatever you want to talk about. Check out Cosmic. I did a Cosmic review right here. And see you tomorrow in the next one. See you.